I almost forgot I wanted to share some energy healing with everybody out there today um specifically going for healing energy that you can use to um heal your past your present or your future I really feel it's important for us to send energy in healing energy into our past because um there's a lot of a lot of hurts you know blockages that our inner child um ingests before we are you know fully mentally formed when, when our subconscious is wide open we make a lot of agreements about the way we interact with our world and you know the parameters that, that we put upon ourselves basically yeah we put our limitations there our limitations and our infiniteness is tied up in our agreements from our subconscious from when we were a child right so we send in energy into our past to remove blockages from our full authenticity our full authentic expression okay so with that i'm gonna take a few minutes to activate my hands real quick here not a few minutes but yeah i'm gonna activate my hands and send you guys some healing energy and this is for like i said for the past for getting in touch with knowing who you are knowing who you were so you can know your purpose know who you are and yeah so you can express that through a mature expression express your inner child through a mature adult expression so there are limitations that we'll find um, in our past our past from this lifetime maybe even further back so if you all want to partake in this just take a minute to get settled um, get in touch with your breathing get in touch with your heart space and just tell it to open and receive and pay attention to your thoughts over the next few days stuff that surfaces in your mind um, could be related to some blockages that you have that'll be coming to surface if you receive this energy gonna sit here and let this flow for a few so important to know who we are as hum humanity as a whole and on an individual level as well we must come to know our past intimately so that we can know our present intimately you know know why we do what we do how has humanity gotten to this point how have you gotten to this point on an individual level and where to go from here in my last video i was talking about the synchronicities that we might find with each other when we share openly our truths you know about how we feel about this world we've all kind of hidden them behind cultural paradigms because you know who wants to like be a freak and stand out and you know not be able to get along in the game they set up for us as i said before that game has a purpose but its purpose is for us to transcend it <laughs> basically you know the patriarchal energy here gives us a true feeling of separateness from source okay um like i said i was watching some videos from some flat earth folks that had a lot of very accurate understanding right the only um you know and they got into uh, our our prehistory past the cosmology that the ancients understood the world through okay but it was kind of interesting because they were touching on this idea um that gravity is basically our density is directly it's it's one of the dimensions the multifaceted dimensions of how we feel that we are separated from source you know so he was getting on the idea you can't truly really ascend to your highest while you're in your physical body and i agree with that but i feel like the idea is limiting in a way because we can experience our higher self our highest self or quote unquote god as it were you know the aspect of us that's creating this reality it is all it i mean we're never really disconnected from it you know i think the thing that is kind of a, a false idea that people have well it's just like enlightenment 
when you experience enlightenment, people think that that's going to be a permanent change. And I guess in a way it is, but it isn't, you know. You're still going to experience duality. You're still going to experience mundane life. You're still going to experience ups and downs. But I feel like once you've gained an awareness of your infinite multidimensional self, that's a thing that can be very beneficial to us because instead of feeling down in our emotions and overly identifying with them, with them which is where blockages in our past would come from, we can be aware now that we are much more than our 3D limitations, than this physicality, than this duality. So it's like, you know, just like I said with enlightenment, people think ascension. I believe you do ascend in the flesh. Do I believe that that is a permanent and lasting feeling and we'll never like feel the ups and downs of the ego anymore? No, we just have more tools at our disposal now. We don't have to just be ego. Like, say two people's egos are at odds with their expression. Like I said, we're all expressions of God and we all still create. Sometimes those creations are in conflict. One or both people, that is when you would tap into your higher dimensional self to hold space for them, hold space for everybody's expression. Okay, back to sending. So, so I've sent frequency dealing with past, present, or future. You can use it to get in touch with your past, to help heal your inner child. Use the healing energy that goes with that. A little direct line to source energy. And this one too, to help us get in touch with our hearts. Just breathe and receive. It is true in a sense that infinite part of yourself has a stillness that our physical 3D existence can't really fathom. And this one, to help us let go of what is no longer serving us once it does surface. Receive this well and take it as a blessing. Thanks, everybody.